As I promised in my yesterday's video, if I have some more information about update 1.13, I am going to let you know as soon as possible. And I do have a lot of information about upcoming potential buffs and nerfs to many loved and hated vehicles in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about update 1.13, which seems to be so far, at least according to the leaks, which seems to be quite a big patch. Um, but I think today I'm going to talk about uh, quite a big list of tanks, which which are going to be changed, tuned, buffed and nerfed because it is quite a big topic. It involves uh, such vehicles like KV-2, KV-2R, Sheridan, T-49, EBR-105 is getting nerfed, guys. Uh, type 5 Heavy, Type 4 Heavy and many other vehicles. The list is big, so in this video I am going to focus on that, but you guys, please smack, just, you know, gently smack the living hell out of the subscribe button so you do not miss any more news about Update one. 13 released in the very near future but now keep in mind what i'm going to show you is for the super test from the super test so super test warning on the screen right now usually what happens on the super test uh, they are going to increase the values or decrease the values buff more nerf more we'll see what is going to happen but you can see what they are thinking about doing to those vehicles many times if they are quite close to the patch uh, or to the common test for one or another patch uh, they do not uh, tend to change them too much uh, so that said ladies and gentlemen and uh, actually a couple days ago they released an article on uh, the official world of tanks uh, sites uh, uh, about AG and SPG super test but I'm going to use what the express information because over there we have a lot more details about a couple of toast buffs some so-called hidden stats uh, you know hidden uh, hidden values like the um, gun dispersion uh, turret rotation dispersion and so on so, large rebalancing of high explosive vehicles for the 1.13 watt update on the Super Test. On May 18, changes were made to some individual high explosive vehicles for the Super Test, says Watt Express. These changes are made based on the results of the latest sandboxes. These edits should be released in June. Update 1.13, so here is the first big hint that update 1.13 should happen in June next month. Here is the full list, uh, list of vehicles I mentioned at the start of the video as well but now let's go take a look at every single tank so a44 is going to a44 a43 uh, are going to get the same upgrade uh, tier 6 and tier 7 medium tanks uh, a44 is the back turreted medium tank, is going to receive engine upgrade, uh, 40 extra horsepower, which is going to make the power to weight ratio better, you know, everything with it, acceleration, turning, all those things are going to be better. Uh, same treatment goes to the KV-3 and the T-150, same uh, si from 600 to 640 horsepower engine upgrade, KV-3 definitely is going to feel it and T-150 as well, because, you know, Engine upgrades on a heavy tanks are always very, very much needed and necessary, especially if the engine power is the same as on medium tank. But now let's talk about the most controversial tanks in the list. The first up, KV-2 and KV-2R. Of course, the changes to those two vehicles are exactly identical because KV-2R is identical to the Tech 3 KV-2. Just they slapped, they just slapped R after the name and let's print some money because this is, you know, almost everyone's favorite tank. And uh, as it is kind of a crazy meme in the community, they have to be very careful how they buff it or how they nerf it. Now, now, good news to everyone who loves this tank, KV-2 is going to receive some buffs. Gun, the 152mm howitzer is going to be more accurate, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, more accuracy on the move like it needed it. It did hit every single shot on the move anyway. Eyes closed, 360, no scope, uh, upside down. Eyes closed, blindfolded. Dispersion on movement is better. Dispersion on hull traverse is better. Uh, dispersion on turret traverse is better as well. Horizontal speed, uh, the moving speed um, is better. Rotation speed, I guess, horizontal speed. I don't uh, fully get it, but anyway, from 16.69, which was a beautiful number, up to 17.73. And aiming time is better, ladies and gentlemen, by 0.2 seconds. Mobility is also going to be better with the top engine from 600 to 640 horsepower better power to weight ratio and hull rotation speed is also made better two degrees uh, 2.1 degrees faster actually so 
Yeah, slight improvements, uh, mobility improvements, definitely you are going to notice that. Um, gun improvements, well, this is now going to be the absolute most accurate tank in this game. And as I said, same changes to KV-2R. <clears throat> Next up, let's talk about uh, another uh, kind of a cult meme tank. Sheridan with Turb Cannon and T-49 with uh, the legendary Turb Cannon. They have exactly the same gun, both Sheridan and T-49 carry exactly the same 152mm uh, gun launcher XM-81 howitzer, like crazy accuracy meme potato shooter. But the tier 10 of course gets a bit better characteristics because it is a tier 10 vehicle. So Sheridan's potato launcher is going to be made more accurate to dispersion on turret traverse from 0 0.40 down to 0 0.35. This is actually quite a big thing because, you know, if you have blade with those turret cannons and if you fully aim in your shot and you need to move it slightly and you need to use turret rotation to do that, of course, then your bloom is going to be quite a massive. But this helps to keep your bloom a bit uh, better, you know. And on the top of that, uh, accuracy, overall accuracy slash dispersion at 100 meters from 0 0.51 down to 0 0.49. And same treatment to D49's turb cannon, uh, dispersion on turret traverse uh, from 0 0.16 down to 0 0.15, so basically made a better. And the dispersion at 100 meters, uh, 0 0.58 down to 0 0.55, so it is not as good. Uh, those values over here are uh, quite, you know, I don't know, seem to be weird but um, oh well this is what you need to you know basically turret, uh, turret dispersion and overall accuracy is going to be made better next up ladies and gentlemen let's talk about uh, the big boys wheeled vehicles which are going to receive some nerfs let's start with uh, Lynx 6x6 the tier 8 wheeled vehicle dispersion on the move slightly mid verse from 0 0.08 up to 0 0.09 minuscule Dispersion on hull traverse, made worse. Dispersion on turret traverse, made a worse. And armor penetration of the HE shells from 90 millimeters down to 75 millimeters. No touchy touchy mobility. Mobility stays the same. Next up, EBR90, exactly the same story, dispersion on the move, on hull rotation, on turret rotation, made worse, slightly. And armor penetration from 90 down to 75 millimeters for the AG rounds. And finally, EBR 105, same story for the on the move accuracy, on hull rotation, turret rotation accuracy, slightly made worse. And armor penetration from 105 millimeters of penetration down to 75. This is actually super good news for many uh, light tanks, uh, maybe some medium tanks as well. But is that enough? Not a single touchy touchy things on the mobility after receiving shots in the wheels or something like that. Because, you know, they did nerf it, ladies and gentlemen. They did nerf the mobility when wheels are damaged. Yes, they made it uh, slower. Now you're able to move slower. But the fact that you are able to move at all after your, I don't know, four wheels have destroyed out of eight, the fact that you are able to move at all is already crazy good because any other vehicle, 99.9% .9 of other vehicles in this game are not able to move at all when they are tracked. Mobility is zero. So... Yeah, let me know what you think about that. The HE change, the HE nerf definitely is a big thing. E75, like, E75, the HE penetration we wanted to see. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Let me know. Because, you know, we have B guns with 90mm still in the game, 90mm of penetration, smaller guns with higher penetration as well, or should it have been, like, 50, 60, or E75 enough? What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? EBR actually in the nerf list if those things end up being true next up let's uh, let's talk about type 4 heavy and type 5 heavy and let's start with the type 4 heavy and 15 centimeter gun dispersion at 100 meters this is the derp gun by the way guys um, made better from 0 0.50 down to 0 0.47 nice beautiful and now you can see the ap shell what do you mean, Des? What do you mean, AP round? This is the turb cannon with only two HE shells and nothing else. Yes, this is how it was, but if those changes go through, 
This is what we were able to test on the sandbox as well, by the way. Type 5 and Type 4 Heavy with uh, 80 rounds and AP Shell, which was added to the Turb Cannon as well. AP Shell penetration after first test seems to be buffed from 240 up to 252, and AP Shell at 100 meters as well from 260 up to 227. Because of that, right? And 14 centimeter gun accuracy was made better from 0 0.40 down to 0 0.38. Same thing to Type 5 Heavy. 15 cm howitzer, a lot more accurate now, down to 0 0.45, penetration better, uh, same penetration like at 500 meters as well, and the same story to the 14 cm gun accuracy made better. So Type 4 and Type 5 heavy. So what do you think about this ladies and gentlemen? Quite a big list of vehicles, isn't it? Type 4, Type 5, EBR 105, Sheridan, Turb Cannons, you know, KB2. What do you think about all of this, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, good, bad, ugly for the game? What do you think? Now, if all of this comes into the game together with HE changes... Yeah, I am very intrigued. Definitely stay tuned. Uh, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so you do not min miss any future news episodes, because I try to keep you in the loop as soon as I can. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your time. I get you next time with something else. Stay awesome, stay sexy, stay naked, stay tuned, take care, and bye.